Hello, my name is Gordon Rutter. Welcome to my Cabinet of Curiosities. Today I'd like to have a look at the Ica stones. Ica in Peru is the location of a museum containing some 10,000 of these stones. The museum was opened in 1966 by Dr Javier Cabrera and the stones were largely brought to his attention by a farmer named Basilo Ushchuya. Basilo Ushchuya had tried to interest archaeologists in the stones but quite frankly none of them had uh, had given any credence to them, they just ignored him totally. Some of the sh stones show dinosaurs, some of them show humans undertaking um, all sorts of surgical procedures, and some show humans and dinosaurs together, such as this one here. So we have a man riding on the back of a four-footed dinosaur here. Various groups of people have been interested in these stones, ancient astronaut theorists, creationists, believers in Atlantis, all have looked at these stones as evidence. Cabrera himself, he actually claimed that they showed that humanity was a lot older than we actually thought. The figure he gave was 405 million years old and he felt that humanity had come from another planet based on the evidence shown by these stones. In the 1970s, the BBC showed a documentary that was critical of the stones, and the farmer, Usher, eventually admitted to faking them in an interview with Eric von Darniken of uh, Ancient Astronaut fame. Ultimately, he carved them using a dentist's drill. Some of them he carved lines in, as we can see here. Other ones he actually carved as a relief, so he removed the base material and left the picture part standing up. This is the opposite of that. To make them appear old, he baked them in cow dung to give them an ancient patina. Um, Ultimately, there are still believers in the antiquity of the Ica stones, and they say that the uh, false confession was because if the farmer Ustia had admitted that these stones were real and he'd been selling them, he would have ended up going to prison because selling Peruvian antiquities was a crime. Um, in his confession, he admitted that many of the images were copied from comics and magazines and ultimately, as I say, 10,000 of these stones uh, are in existence. Uh, a lot of them are housed in the museum, which is still open today. Um, if it was all down to Ustia, then where did he find the time to carve all of these things? It does seem that there were a few other people potentially involved. Um, yeah. That's the Eka Stones, so I hope you like that. Thank you very much, folks.